there. I'm hearing the phrase at risk a lot lately. And what that has evoked in me is the thought that we, I think we should be take more risks and invite people into our hearts and homes and not be so self-conscious and weird. Um, thus, I would like to invite you all today into my bathroom. That's right. Um, as you can see, it's kind of in the nature of a grotto. Above the, um, the doorways, I have prayer cards of various martyrs and saints. That's actually a poster of my brother Joe of the Queers. They were at Chet's last call many, many years ago. Um, here's a bit of an altar. That is a St. Teresa of Lisieux snow globe given to me by my dear friend from Columbus, Ohio, Mary Beth Paul. St. Dymphna, uh, patron saint of the mentally ill, seed pods, and various little postcards. This is a little lamb above the uh, knob on the medicine cabinet, cross of course. Lots of more tchotchkes, candle sconces. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, wood block by um, James Reed, R-E-I-D, from the Song of Solomon. Virgin Guadalupe. Um, rosaries galore. Here's an angel above the shower. Um, the whole thing is teeny, as you can see, emblematic of the whole apartment. Um, I think maybe the bathroom's four feet wide. Like that's, <laughs> that's the whole thing. Um, if I laid across it, my head would extend beyond. Anyway, um, there's a hot water bottle. It's cold here in LA. So uh, that's it. It's, um, you know, it's a, we all spend quite a bit of time in the bathroom and it's a place that reminds me everywhere I look of um, why I'm here, who I serve, where I came from, where I'm going. There's St. Dominic at the foot of the cross of Angelico, where I hope also to stay and be. Okay, welcome. Come on over anytime.